I'm Lucy Turek with Mary Wilson Keener CPA in Frisco, Texas. Um, one thing a lot of clients ask us is what do I do when I get a notice from the IRS? Well, first of all, do not panic. Um, it's not that big of a deal most of the time. First thing you want to do is actually read the notice. It'll say in the right hand corner what it's applying to, what tax year it has to deal with, and kind of give you a little synopsis of what the issue really is. So make sure, first of all, you're aware of what tax return they're talking about, what type of tax return they're talking about. Second of all, go ahead and get a copy, if you don't have it, of the actual tax return that they're talking about. If you prepared it by yourself, if the CPA did it, get your hands on it and review and see if you can see what the issue is that they're describing. Second, I would go ahead and call a CPA. The IRS has a special hotline for CPAs to talk to versus individuals. Either way, you'll be on the phone for probably over an hour and a half, but we can get in a little bit quicker. Thirdly, I would go ahead and say we could probably solve it easier than you can because we're aware of the situation, we're aware of types of things like this, and we've probably had other clients who've had similar notices. The main thing is just to talk to them, figure out what the issue is. Most of the time, they need more documentation. They need a better description. They need to know why the third page is separated from the fourth page. Most of these things we can figure out with just a 30-minute consultation looking at the notice, looking at your tax return, and figuring out what the issue is. Here are takeaways. Avoid distractions in the background by tightening up your shot. Keep your mic close to avoid that hollow sound. If you don't have one, invest in one. Create videos that just contain valuable information, not a sales pitch. Just include your name, and contact information.